What is up guys? So today we're talking about fries and not the electronic store, obviously, the French kind, which by the way, they're not French. They actually come from Belgium, so yeah, hate to burst your bubble, but there you go. How do you even get that name? Let's see, why do... <clears throat> so, since the official language of the Belgian army was French, they nicknamed them French fries and the name stuck. And it literally quotes, decades later, we're still giving credit to the wrong country. So this is a constant loop of misinformation, basically. So the things that we love about a french fry is that beautifully crunchy outside and that soft, fluffy inside. I mean, I mean, those, damn, those are some tantalizing words. But really, they are, <laughs> that is the beauty of a fried potato. And you would think, oh, well, just f***ing fry a potato and you're good to go, right? Wrong. You're wrong. Congratulations. You did it. So typically restaurants will double or even triple fry their french fries. So the first initial fry is the beginning cooking process. You're not looking to get any color and also it forms the precursor to the crispy crust. Then obviously the second fry is to get the ultra crispy crust and finish cooking with the french fry. So what happens if you throw in a little bit of sous vide? Let's find out. Okay, so to start, you're going to need a sous vide, as previously mentioned, and you're going to attach it to the side of a bowl or a pot with some warm water in it. Next, go ahead and set it to 90 degrees Celsius. Here's a B-roll shot of what it looks like when it's running. So now we're going to go ahead and make the brine. It's about four cups of water. Go ahead and weirdly pour this thing because it pours terribly. Next is about a tablespoon of salt and a half teaspoon of baking soda. I know it seems a little weird, but just trust me and just whisk that bad boy up until everything is dissolved and whisked, I guess. Now your next step is to peel your potatoes, but before you do that, you're gonna wanna try this little technique that I have where you put a piece of parchment paper down and you're gonna peel your potatoes over that. I know it seems strange, but trust me, this is the best thing that you're ever going to do in your life. Also, I might add that I'm peeling four large russet potatoes. Now, get ready for the magic. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Yep, that's right. And just throw that away. You're welcome. Now we have our humble peeled potato, so we're gonna slice that into planks about a half inch in thickness. And you're gonna do that to every single potato. Now, this next part is very important. So you're gonna cut those planks into batons the same size as you did in thickness as the planks, which is gonna be a half inch. That way it's a perfect little long rectangle that's evenly thick on all sides. Once all of your fries are cut, take a third of your cut potatoes and add a little bit of brine, just enough to cover, and spill your brine everywhere too, like I just did. Apparently I don't own a single damn thing that pours properly. Now go ahead and use your weird vacuuming sort of device because you don't have the money for a vacuum sealer right now and a vac seal your fries so they're ready to sous vide and they sink to the bottom and don't float. Now drop your vac sealed fries into your sous vide bath for 15 minutes. Once they finish cooking, remove them from the bath and place them on a wire rack to cool and to dry. I repeat too dry. You want the exterior of these bad boys to be super duper dry. Okay, well maybe not super duper dry, but you want them, you don't want them to be wet. Once those fries have efficiently cooled, you're going to want to carefully lower the fries into oil that's been preheated to 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you're just going to fry them, maybe jostling them very gently around for about five to seven minutes or until the exterior of them have started to become a little crusty and dry. And I might emphasize that you don't want any color here yet. And another piece of advice I forgot to mention is fry these fries in batches. I don't want anyone starting a damn grease fire, all right? So while you're frying these, remove them from the oil and place the finished fries on a cooling rack and then fry the next ones in another batch. Now, once you're done with the first fry, you're gonna go ahead and place those fries in the freezer. Now, you can leave them in the freezer until they're frozen all the way through, or you could just leave them in until you, whenever, whenever, until you want french fries. So, you know, I don't know. It's just a great idea, I'm just saying. 
Now, assuming that you are ready to fry them, you're just gonna drop them at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and obviously you can do this while they're still frozen. And again, do these in batches, no grease fires, please. And you're gonna fry these for about a minute and 30 seconds, that's it. Keep an eye on the color, you don't wanna get them too dark. And a huge reminder, make sure that you're seasoning them while they're still hot out of the fire with a little bit of oil on them so that the salt sticks. And just keep repeating that process with all of your batches until all of the fries are fried and beautiful. Now, optionally, if you're as extra as I am, you're gonna make something to put on the fries. What you're gonna wanna start with is about a half cup of chopped parsley, fresh parsley, and a half cup of freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano or Grana Padano. Grana Padano is essentially a, it's essentially a type of Parmigiano Reggiano, so don't be too scared by the weird name. And last, you're gonna add one clove of freshly grated garlic. That is it. Oh, and a little bit of salt. Just stir it enough to combine, and you're gonna use that to top your fries. Now, just grab yourself a nice looking plate, put your hot fries on the plate, and add your Parmesan topping if you chose to make it, or just add a little bit of extra salt. And now, please stand for a moment of silence. Oh, my God. Yep. Yep. I should probably finish this video. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next week.